Hey folks, Charlie Sims here. Hope you're having a lovely day and thank you for joining me for a speed build. And today is a very special speed build because we are building a fast food restaurant. And this has been made not by the Sims team, but by a modder, one of my favourite modders, uh, Little Dicker. He's so talented. We're going to be building a fast food restaurant. I'm going to be showing off some of the items that we get with Little Dicker's pack. And it is honestly just such a great pack. So this pack is everything that you would find in McDonald's. It's like literally everything. There's 70 items in this pack and there's clutter items like chip scoopers. We've got a wet floor sign. We've got a urinal, um, burgers, drink cartons, loads of stuff. And how it works is it does actually, it works with dine out. So instead of the bulky host stations we get from dine out, we get a, it's basically a touchscreen laptop that you can place on counters that your hosts will wait behind. And it looks so cool, just like in McDonald's. This pack also comes with the big self-service McDonald's touchscreens. Well, I mean, obviously like not branded McDonald's, but it looks just like them. And uh, these are decorative items because um, there's no functionality like that with the game. But you can use this uh, just like a restaurant if you have dine out. I changed the menu on this restaurant to just serve burgers. And this pack is available to download on Little Dicker's Patreon on the 21st of February for the public. I'm a Patreon, so I got the pack early. And uh, being a Patreon is like... It's like £5 a month and you get all the packs early and access to exclusive posts and I think it's so worth it if you like custom content and you're looking for some good high quality custom content I would highly recommend Little Dicker. Just talking about the build for a second I realise I haven't talked about it I've just been gushing over this pack and we will continue to gush over it once we get into the interior but just to talk about the exterior I see a lot of McDonald's in city centres and they match the architecture of the surrounding city so I wanted to do that here with Windenburg so that's why we've got like a Tudor grand building because it matches the buildings around and McDonald's have bought it well I mean not McDonald's whatever this restaurant is the chain have bought it and now it's been converted into a fast food restaurant and you see that a lot with um, McDonald's so yeah I just thought my mind just went to Windenburg and it makes sense after the clubs you want some fast food and um, I actually might get my sims to do that just come here after after clubbing four in the morning or whenever it is and now i'm just adding a porch and we put some seats under that porch to make like a outdoor covered seating area important to note as well and i totally forgot to note this that the yellow signs that i was putting out at the front in simlish are from little dicker's greasy foods pack as well and now i'm just sorting the back out really uh we just do a similar thing to the front and we haven't really got a lot of room so i don't end up landscaping too much i just put some kind of gated trees in every corner of the lot and that's all the landscaping we do really we do add a modern door so i wanted the doors to be modern i wanted like a little bit of this to be converted obviously like inside is super modern just like mcdonald's but i wanted the entrance way as well to be modern so we put like a big big glass windows in on the porch and now we're just adding a window to the side just wanted to add something a little bit different on this side we do end up moving that piece over i've kind of made like a corner jutting out bit that's attached to the front and I thought that that looked cool but I just couldn't make the windows underneath look good this is what I'm trying to do now so I end up moving it over a little bit um, and we'll see that a little bit later and now I'm just doing the back adding these lovely signs from the greasy food stuff pack and yeah I think these signs are great and there's another swatch as well in white I think there's a couple of swatches to be honest and now I'm just adding some glass windows on the front so that it can look modern like the entryway looks modern at least and yeah just adding a couple of fixtures and this is just me adding the same we, we do the same to the back door as well because i think there's normally two entrances in mcdonald's but i'm not sure it's been absolutely ages since i've been to mcdonald's um because of the pandemic and just uh in general i don't tend to go to mcdonald's too much but i do like their breakfast and yeah i'm just adding um uh, i don't know why this reminds me of mcdonald's so much i don't know what the inspiration was behind this it's just uh we get a lot of 
a lot of red and yellow in this pack. Um, I don't actually furnish um, with red and yellow. It's quite neutral inside, but I mean, we'll get to that when we get on the interior. But yeah, I don't know. This just really reminds me of McDonald's. And I think he did it. I think he did an amazing job. This is just such a good pack. I just love it. I'm just finishing off the exterior now before jumping on the inside and we just I'll just show you the side of the building because I do change that off camera as you can see I've moved that jutting bit over a little bit uh, and that just meant that the placement downstairs was like a bit easier of the windows so now I'm just cordoning off an area for the kitchen we are in the interior and look what I'm pulling out I'm pulling out a bin where you can put your trays and just get rid of everything that's on your tray we also have trays in the clutter menu there's so much clutter burger boxes burgers anything you can think of we've got these recolored um well i say recolored snowy escape counters they've also got this really nice edge on the end piece as well that i don't think we originally get with snowy escape and i just love the vibrant swatches we get we do change it to a lighter one uh just to fit the color scheme this is just me kind of pulling everything out and just seeing how it looks really um so yeah so i wanted to have like a kind of peephole to see into the kitchen and then we also put like a door right next to that as well later i'm just taking a look at everything we get with this pack i'm like blown away i absolutely love that wallpaper we get six wallpapers with this pack and we also get some flooring as well that's really nice and yeah i especially love it. so these are the floor floor patterns we get four of those and i'm just pulling out this this wallpaper i absolutely love with the simlish on i think that looks so good we also get some big tiles we get some huge tiles that are great for the bathroom that i use and we get a wet floor sign as well that you will have just seen me pull out some wall decals it's there's so much there's 70 items in this which is just like so crazy and these are the self-service machines that i love they're decorative so they're non-functioning because we don't have anything like that in the game. But I think, I mean, I've already said that, but I think they look so good. We also get a ton of seating with this as well. So this is the first set, like a bench. Uh, that looks really nice. Um, but the, the benches stay for the downstairs. Actually, this this whole area stays. We just changed the colour scheme completely. I love that wall decal with the burger on. So, yeah, so we lighten it up and then I decide to have a blue, some blue accents. And yeah, I decided to use this floor from Outdoor Retreat. That was it. So yeah, so I just sized down those menus. And my idea behind this was, you know, like, have you ever been to Leon and it's like a little bit quirky? I thought we could have like a little bit of a quirky fast food place. So I try and size up this shelf from Paranormal Stuff Pack that I absolutely love. We do include the shelf, just not sized up. But yeah, so I think of adding some blue accents on. I don't think we actually make the splashback blue. We do in the kitchen, but we just have a load of blue accents throughout the restaurant. And I clutter up these shelves from Island Living with everything that we get from the new greasy foods pack and i'm just adding like some quirky signs end up adding that like tube sign because we get a lot of well i mean in england there's a lot of quirky places in london so i thought oh, okay maybe like a tube sign um you know that's quirky and it fits and we lower these shelves a bit later but you don't see me re-add the debug items don't worry and then i think like oh well maybe because you know you get like a muck calf joined with a mcdonald's so i thought maybe they've got some uh, cakes and pastries and maybe you can purchase tea uh and yeah so i'm also adding some limes as well for i don't know coke and then just a packet of um sauces that we get with um backyard stuff i believe and yeah so just experimenting a little bit do end up putting that shelf in from paranormal stuff because i absolutely love it and i think that's really it for the splash back or the blue accents as I say it's not really a splash back and now we're adding um yeah we're just adding these counters and I just put like a load of things like we get sauce packets and trays and oh yeah so I'm pulling out the items and then I realize oh my god we get trays so um this is like I don't know the kitchen have finished with their order and they put the tray down and I just really like doing this like there's so much clutter in the in the kitchen especially and like on that backsplash i just absolutely love it and then i also add some trays by the bins uh because i think that's realistic as well and 
this all of the clutter stacks so easily you just hold the shift button and yeah it's just it's so easy to stack the sources stack like i didn't really have to pull the omsp out shelf out i'm only pulling the omsp shelf out for um stuff that we get with the game um not stuff that we got from a uh, from little dicker's stuff pack but yeah i'll link you little dicker's stuff pack down below uh if you're interested and i'm just adding the the blue kitchen and we'll have a look at all the kitchen stuff later it's so cool we get like a load of fryers and everything but i end up doing the seating area first or we jump back between the two i'm not sure i did this a little while ago so i did this as soon as the pack came out uh i'm not even sure when it came out now and yeah, so I'm adding, I, I thought these kind of signs from Cool Kitchen were really good, so really cool. Uh, so I added like, like a llama, like dissection of a llama, which is like pretty funny, um, which I'm sure is for like, probably more apt in like a steak restaurant in The Sims, but... I thought it was a bit of fun. Look how easy these barbecue and tomato ketchup packets are stacking. It's like insane. We also get some chicken nuggets. These are the fryers. I later find that we get a chip scoop debug item and I add that all around as well. Just adding some counters. The kitchen ends up being massive and we end up adding like an island in the middle as well because I look at it at the end and I'm just like, oh, this is a really small kitchen. So we add an island later as well but i'm just i just really enjoyed how easy it was to just add a load of clutter in this like it's amazing so yeah so we had a sink as well some fridges i don't think you actually i mean we don't need all of this stuff but i just wanted it to be really realistic and look really cool and i mean if you're not purchasing the restaurant it's um it's no problem to just add a load of things that you don't need um you know because you're not paying for them so yeah and now i'm just adding some more like funky artwork about i'm just dotting it about and we go up to the upstairs where the toilets are and we do actually get oh my god we get urinals with this pack look at the cubicles i why don't we get this with the sims like look how good that is it just makes sense it's usable it's not they're not huge they take up one tile these cubicles and yeah i just really Oh, I just really enjoyed this. We end up having a lot of room for the bathroom, so I do change that as well. And now I'm just playing about with the kind of wallpapers. So we use this light brick from the Greasy Foods pack and also this wallpaper stuff that I really like. Um, but you get a lot of wallpapers, so you can experiment with different combos. But I wanted a combination of two at least. So yeah, this is when I realised that the toilet's absolutely massive and we just um, we just make one toilet, two toilets basically because that's how big the toilets are. And I'm accenting the blue a little bit with this um, these sinks that we get from City Living. And yeah, I think for once I just really enjoy doing the bathroom, which is like really unusual for me, but <laughs> I just really enjoyed using it and with the urinals as well, like so fun. So, so, such a good idea. I don't know why we don't have them in, in The Sims, just because it's so realistic. Yeah, so as you can see, we have so many toilets, so I'll kind of like divide um, this toilet up because we already have, there's like a clear division and we already have enough um cubicles and toilets to mean we can have two toilets so yeah i add two toilets and then i'm just adding some toilets inside the cubicles and then i remember oh where can i fit in the urinals so we just fit them in like on the side somewhere on, on one of the uh toilets and i'm not sure whether the urinals are functional i'll load up the game and test that out and then i'll put it in the comment below but these are the urinals how cool do they look i mean they're urinals but you know attention to detail um is awesome and i didn't even check if there was any more swatches on this cubicle so sorry but <laughs> i'm sure in the link below um you'll be able to see all of the different items in the pack i mean this is like a build this isn't like a, a review or anything but yeah we can make fast food restaurants now, which is absolutely awesome. And I'm just cordoning off a little area. So I thought I'd cordon off the seating area a little bit because we've just got so much space. I can't believe how big this place is. We do shop out. Oh, yeah, we also get hand dryers. We get hand dryers with this as well. And have you seen these benches? This is we're, we're moving too fast, but <laughs> like these benches are so cool. And we do skip a bit of the inside furnishing just because I have a lot to furnish. 
We also have these nice bar stools as well with like some really long tables that are really nice and they come in really nice swatches like the, the wood tones. I mean, I thought the default one was absolutely gorgeous. So we use the default one because it also matches the walls, like everything matches. It's so cohesive. I just absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, so we're adding like a bit more seating, but yeah, I don't show all the seating because it just takes me so long. And I especially love the table that's like, it's two tables. I love that because you do get tables that close to each other in fast food restaurants. I mean, can you imagine sitting that close to a stranger now? But if you think about Nando's, um, yeah, you used to get that all the time. It used to really annoy me, actually, <laughs> um, just because like you could hear the other people. But as you can see, I've furnished it all. So I'm sorry for the skip to all of the seating but I am putting down a lot of the same things so we're just kind of accenting the walls now with some pictures that are I still try and keep a bit of the blue uh, theme but I really like these snowy escape pictures because they look like kind of morning coffee adverts and I really like that in a restaurant because honestly like for me mcdonald's is the mcdonald's calf like the amount of times I've just gone in and I've had a croissant and a coffee which is probably like sacrilege to a lot of people but that's what I like. Um, so yeah, so we just accent it a little bit and then I end up putting like some napkins on all of the tables as well. And I don't know whether you can see, but we do have another chair. So and I didn't even notice that. So we swap all of the stools out for these lovely chairs um, that we get in. Obviously everything matches uh, and it's just so great. Uh, really check out the link and just have a look because there's 70 items. So and obviously this is not me showing you 70 items, I'm just having a load of fun and I thought I'd record it and um, put it on YouTube. So yeah, um, we're just kind of filling up this kitchen area because it is looking a little bit bare at the moment. Um, it's so big, I don't know why I made such a big kitchen area. So yeah, so we end up adding like a pantry, I swear I've seen one of these in McDonald's restaurants, I don't know, I have like a little peephole in like my local McDonald's that I can see into the kitchen. So I have like a kind of idea about it, but I've probably got it completely wrong. But yeah, so we had some more fryers in the middle and yeah, I mean, it's mostly decorative and yeah, we just clutter up everything with just sauces, the open and closed burger boxes. And I just love that you get an open version and a closed version. I think that's just amazing attention to detail. And yeah, just some like maybe guidelines for the chefs. I don't I don't really know. <laughs> um I just wanted to fill the walls a little bit because it was looking like a little bit blank. I love that chef movie poster as well that I put down. Um yeah and then we're just adding some bins and then I realised that we've got all of this to clutter and it's so easy for me to clutter like can you see the sources stacking like it, it was so easy because normally I put these snowy escape counters down and I'm like, oh, let's try and find stuff to clutter and get the OMSP shower. But this is great. And also we have like a load of uh, chip scoops as well. And I just add a load of packet of French fries about as well. Um, yeah, just adding some more sauces uh, in just every kind of colour. I don't know what these sauces are. And yeah, just adding, I add some more burgers and they're like, different colours and now we add <laughs> my favourite bins ever um, from Snowy Escape so just add those recycling bins and then we're adding like a little bit of a fence around this area so that the seating area is a little bit cordoned off um, and we just have some like darker bar stools just to match the exterior a bit more and then as I said we put some trees on the corners of the lot and then we were onto the screenshots so I really hope you enjoyed this video something a little bit different and if you did like this video please hit the like button if you'd like to see more content from me please hit subscribe catch you later